What's one thing you're excited about that's coming up in 2020? Birth of my kiddo. I really hope don't hug me. I'm scared 7 comes out. My child being born. Two words. Animal crossing. I can finally legally escape high school. My baby in March. Wife getting her PhD. Fingers crossed for a new president. Going back to being in a proper decade again like the 70s, 80s, 90s. I've missed that delineation. It's felt like the last 20 years have merged together because we didn't have a real name that stuck for those decades. Edit. Thanks for the gold. Every radio station has been playing the greatest hits from the 70s, 80s, 90s and now. It's been now for 19 years. At least in Bollywood, Zero's music and Ten's music is significantly different. Zero's was more of party songs, Ten's was more of romantics. NASA starting moon missions again. I'm not getting my hopes up. NASA's been flip-flopping between different mission goals every time the administration changes. At this rate SpaceX and Blue Origin will probably get to both the moon and Mars before NASA does. That's the advantage of private space companies they can set goals longer than 4 to 8 years and stick to it. The only reason Apollo worked was because JFK set the poetic goal of before this decade is out and no one wanted to take the political risk of disrupting that goal, not even Nixon. The problem with private investment is that it has to be profitable. A lot of early research and development were things that were not deemed profitable but necessary. The state has always been the one to fund those things. Many technologies used by SpaceX are just improvements of public funded r and Private entities are only entrepreneur if there is a clear profit in it and when the groundwork has already been set by publicly funded development. Kind of like SpaceX. Practical virtual reality. For me it is still too expensive and impractical. But movies and video games will be amazing when it gets better. It's totally impractical and too expensive, but I went and got myself a vibe like two years ago. As much as there is so much still to be improved, there is something beautiful about being able to remember a virtual world. Not just remembering looking at a screen, but remembering being there. Remembering looking at the northern lights, or sniping that bandit with your first decent shot, or shotgunning a death claw in the face. I can't wait for things to get even better. But yeah, we may have more like 5 years to go still before we really start unlocking the potential of VR. Applying for a big study abroad scholarship to the country of my dreams to study a language I've been speaking for 6 years. If I win I won't have to pay a penny out of my own pocket. I find out if I'm a recipient in March. That sounds exciting. Good luck. Thank you so much. I almost can't believe I have a chance at all. This is going to get buried because I'm late, but my life is most likely going to change dramatically. I'm graduating high school, moving out of my house, to go to college 8 hours away, and I also get to vote in my first election. Pretty good 2020, if you ask me. I'll be getting top surgery. This is a double mastectomy with nipple grafts done by a plastic surgeon. That's covered by insurance. Extras, like shaping can be done for a fee, or hitting the gym hard. I'm female to male transsexual, my dysphoria of my chest is huge, especially since I ended up with huge honkers, unlike everyone else in my family. I've wanted this so long. I have family and friends support for which I'm eternally grateful for. It's hard to believe it'll be happening only months from now. My doctor says I might gain some height too, which is apparently common after breast reduction. My back and shoulders will thank me. My real name is Maximum Prince, and by 2030 I'm gonna be an esteemed screenwriter and director, notable for Schoolboy and the Pecking Order. You may laugh now, I'm only 13 after all. But one day, either in the 20s or 30s, someone will look back at my old Reddit account, find this message, and stir up controversy for the post being fake. There's no way Maximum Prince would know all of this shit over a decade ago. Right? Just you fucking wait. Tenet. Dune. Attack on Titan Season 4. Westworld Season 3. Killing Eve Season 3. In my opinion Villeneuve and the Nolan brothers have made some really good stuff in the last couple of years. I can't wait to see what their next projects are. 
Attack on Titan is some of the best TV I've seen, and Jodie Comer and Sandra Roe are fantastic in Killing Eve. That and the memes. Memes are good. Moving out into my own place. I lived alone for an entire year in an apartment I hated because my ex offered to help pay for it and live with me and left two months in, trapping me in a lease. It was the worst year of my life and I'm surprised I made it through. Now I'm looking into buying a co-op apartment on my own accord. I know I'll be moving in alone and that will help me prepare. I just hope I don't feel lonely again lol. Either The Last of Us Part 2 or Cyberpunk 2077 waited a long time for both, and they are coming out within months of each other, not to mention, Bod Hawks, Mountain Blade Banner Lord, Animal Crossing, Halo Infinite, hopefully a new president, Final Fantasy 7 Remake, Bayonetta 3, PS5, maybe a new RTX card, maybe Brexit will actually go through. Who knows, and maybe Super Meat Boy 2 will come out. I've been in the process of leaving teaching and moving on to a new career. This is my fifth year, I've mostly subbed with a number of leave replacements, currently doing one now, ends next month. I've known for a few years that I don't like teaching and want to stop, so I'm halfway through another master's program in library science. This will be my last year at my school and I can finally leave it behind to start a new career as a librarian. I do like the school I'm at, and I'll miss a lot of my coworkers and students, but I'm looking forward to starting a new chapter of my life. Technically it's already started now, but in 2020 I'll get to be an assistant coach for my high school's speech and debate team. The competitions really start to ramp up after the holidays. Doesn't sound super impressive, but it's honestly my dream job doesn't pay the bills, won't ever be the only thing I do, might even have to give it up eventually, but I don't care. I literally never feel as joyful as when I'm helping these teens find their voice and figure out how to be the best they can be. Outlander Season 5, of course. For the first time since 2010 we will be able to wear glasses that are shaped like the numbers of the year and use the zeros as the lenses. Enjoy it, it won't happen again until 2030, it's too bad that they'll never be as good as the 2000 glasses or any of the following 9. I'm one year less from leaving my fuck home. I'm excited for Mountain Blade 2. So many years of waiting. For some reason, I can't wait for the new James Bond movie. It's been a while since Spectre, and I'm hoping Daniel Craig's story arc ends nicely. Moving back home. Animal Crossing. Hopefully having a job. I'm taking my daughter to Disney World for the first time. I'm so excited to meet all of the princesses with her. In my town there's this power plant that's being shut down in January 2020. It's been polluting the waters for a while, and the government finally decided it needed to be shut down with Boat Harbor. Yeah a lot of people are gonna lose jobs, but at least the water will be a bit cleaner. Stranger Things 4. First Infinite Recharge. I'm getting married in 2020. Me starting January 1 RST 2020 quitting my job and just doing what I want for the first quarter of the year at least. The new Watch Dogs game. The Olympics. I've somehow landed a full time job in a field I'm very passionate about after a long period of spiraling into depression, addiction, shitty dead end jobs, and generally neglecting my life. I look forward to finish paying off my debt and to enjoy living my life again. Maybe go on some dates. Top Gun 2. Season 2 of Hilda. On Netflix. Everyone is low, commenting stuff about NASA, cyberpunk, and I'm here, like I'm going to my first ever concert. Diablo 4 release, Bannerlord, the newest LEGO Star Wars game. I like the epic exclusivity deals for Borderlands 3, Metro Exodus, and Outer Worlds run out in 2020. Not a big deal if you were okay with splitting your collection over multiple platforms, but if you've been holding out to have them all in one place, then it's important. Superpunk. My 18th birthday. I plan to have massive meal with all my close friends and family throughout the years, a massive game of Chinese whispers, because that would be awesome, and then a dance to some of my favorite music. That's the week after I turn 18 as I'll be going to see Bon Iver with a mate of mine on the actual day. Animal Crossing. Starting a new job that pays 30k more than my current job. 
the ability to actually pay bills on time is intoxicating, and I literally cannot wait. I've lived in paycheck to paycheck for so freaking long. Stranger Things 4. Michael Jackson's Broadway musical. A better year, I hope. We, and many of our friends, have endured a string of unexpected deaths and other hardships in 2019. The election, 